What's up YouTube? It's your boy Jay Will back at it again. And in today's video, I got a major special surprise for you all. All right? So, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every single time that I come out with a new video. All right? All right, so with that 1000 subscriber giveaway i got a special surprise for you all as a matter of fact it's sitting right in front of me it is a usb cordial microphone all right now this microphone is one of the best in its class it's produced by fifen one of the top leading manufacturers in usb microphones. comes in a nice box now in order to enter the contest in order for you to receive this for free all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel for one and also leave a comment and smash that like button in this video all right so when it comes to this microphone this microphone has a good amount of weight to it which means it's very durable so what we're going to do is we're going to go over this microphone and then i'm going to show you all how to record with this microphone and mix the vocals all right so let's go ahead open the mic and see what it looks like all right so got this sitting right here and we're just gonna open it comes with some nice instructions right here oh on how to set it up has a nice little information tab right here as well all right now it comes in a pretty nice box very well protected with some dense foam all right and here's the microphone right here so with this microphone as you can see put it closer to it looks nice doesn't it now right here you have your mic volume and with your mic volume you control how loud your mic gets so that way you can eliminate some of the noise on the back end when you're recording and everything and then also you have your headphone volume as well all right now underneath right here you have your usb plug your headphones all right and then you also have a threaded barrel right here so you can mount your mic to a tripod or you can mount your mic to a mic stand all right so on the back of this you have your your mute button for your mic all right so that way when you're not using it you can go ahead and mute it up and you're all good to go there now this is a cordioid microphone and what that basically means is when you're talking directly into the mic it won't pick up frequencies that's coming back this way behind from behind it it's only going to pick up those frequencies of you speaking in front of it which is also very important that you have a treated room as well all right so that way those sounds that's bouncing off behind you don't bounce off the wall and come back into the microphone giving you that reverb effect that unnatural unwanted reverb effect you know so that's the mic right there this is exactly what i'm giving away y'all should definitely pick it up and just imagine what you can do with this mic on your own projects and stuff like that now we're going to give a test subject that one of my artists used on this mic and i'm just gonna let you hear how it sounds and then i'm gonna show you how i mixed it up so also it can it comes with this little adapter for the bottom of the mic so you can attach it comes with some cords right here as well for your usb and everything yeah so usb right here and that's basically all that's in the package now let's take this baby for the test ride and me and my artist did a song, and if you want to listen to it, it is on Spotify, all major platforms, everything. All right, so let's see exactly how powerful this mic is. All right, let's get into it. All right, YouTube fam. So I got the Fifine mic with us upload it onto the fl studio project this is the exact mic that we use in order to record the song and i'm gonna let y'all hear exactly what this is capable of now the mic once again is one of the best in its class as far as usb cordial mics go all right so let's hear what it sounds like Excited to be here with you, but you're doing that thing. Second, 
been with you, been looking at you for a while. See the things in your all right, so I can't let it go on any longer, but if you want to hear the rest of the song, hit the links down below in the description. All major platforms is going to be there from Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music, uh, Napster, wherever you name it, it's there. All right, so like I said before, we're going to be going over how I mix these vocals so that you will have a grasp on how to mix your own vocals as well. All right, so... Let's go over here to our mixer chain. All right, so here's our mixer chain. We got the vocal sitting right here. So if we play it. As you see, I had the actual vocals on the wrong chain, but it's on chain 11. We got it. We got it good. We got the mixture bus 11. We got it. All right. So first thing we did was we added auto tune. Now I have an auto tune up here and you don't necessarily have to use that one. You can simply just use your stock plugin picture and it'll work just as well. All right. Now with this auto tune, I don't have a lot on there. I'm just at 12. It's in a C major. And uh, it really should be at a male's voice, but I don't know why it's not. But it is what it is. But that's in my ear, it sounded pretty good like that where it's at. All right. And as you can also see, is that um, human eye, I try to make it as human as possible. But all you have to do is use picture and then you'll be all square to go. The next thing I used was a de -esser, And then all you have to do is go to maximums. And then Maximus. So if I were to go here, go over here to replace more plugins and type it and go to Maximus. Come over here to Maximus. We got Maximus pulling up right now. And then come over here, go to presets. And I'm gonna do is DSer, narrow band, and you all good to go there. All right. Now your fru fruity EQ is the first, I use two EQs. So the first EQ, I just cut off the low ends. I, I usually do it to about 80% on this particular artist's voice. And I boost up the high end to give that crisp, clear vocal as well. And then I go to my second EQ and I do just basically frequency sweeps to see which ones suck and which ones are good. As you can see, I had a little bit, I, I lowered it just a little bit. And then this one was a horrible, horrible, frequency i had to bring that down much more than others so if i actually were to bring that up and hit play as you can hear that that vocal was horrible all right so and then i used the compressor so all you have to do is just come over here uh, go to replace more plugins, fruity compressor, and just go to fruity compressor. And then you should be good with uh, fruity compressor. Now, the ratios I like to use is three to one. Play. I'll probably bring it down to where, where exactly it's really something that you have to play with in order to get the threshold right. So, if I were to do something like this. So you got that going there. So play with the threshold to see exactly where you want it. And then the attack. I really want to, I need it. I need it to attack it faster than that. So in the and then the release, I want the release a little bit faster. That's just in my preference, but medium. So as you can see, the hard works better. And then the gain, whatever that you lost when you was compressing everything, you just bring it up. Simple as that. All right. Nebula is one of those dollar plugins that I got from Plugin Boutique. Uh, it adds a little bit of fulfillment to the vocal. 
Um, so basically, I used the chorus and I got a couple of uh, hertz, put the rate in the mix and the depth. So that's what gives it its thing. So this is what it sounds like without it. And Oracle the same way. I might as well do them at the same time. And Oracle is more of imaging. So I can have it going throughout your whole ear and stuff like that. All right. So with that being done, if I take both of these off and play it for you all, this is what it sounds like. And as you can see, there's a major difference without those plugins. They do pretty good work for me as well. And then your basic fruity delay, and then you add your fruity reverb. All right. When we come to fruity reverb two, what you want to do is you want to come over here, go to the venue, with up, dry down. It sounds like. So that way you have that much in there and then you just bring it down to about say seven percent so you bring about seven percent and if you look at the video you can actually see what percentage you're at right in here just in case y'all didn't know that so you can see it i'm moving bring it back down to seven percent and we're good there so if i play it So that is exactly how I mix vocals. Now, if you want to hear the entire song, don't hesitate to hit the links down below in the description. You can listen to it, stream it. It's, it helps us out, helps me out, helps this channel out. I highly appreciate it if you do. If you don't, understandable, hold nothing against you. All right, but don't forget, if you want to win this microphone, you have to be subscribed to the channel. You have to hit the like button. And you have to leave a comment. All right. Don't miss out on this microphone because you didn't do three simple things. They don't even cost you anything, you know? So if there isn't any questions, hopefully I can see this microphone in your hands and then see you on the next video. Peace.